So I'm going to open this session up for question and answer time. Uh, and I want to say to you, it's time to build. Uh, and I'm going to take question and answer for the next 15 minutes. There's a question and answer box there. You can put your questions in that question and answer handle. I will handle them. Please feel free. S ask the questions as it is in your heart. Ask it as it is in your mind. If you think it's too much work, too much stress, too much this, ask it. Q&A. There's a place called Q&A. Look for the Q&A and put your questions there. I can see our emoticons. I can see our wheel. I can see our fires. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Boom, boom, good. I like, I like, I like, I like, I like. Go higher. I will, I will. By fire, by 100%, by force. Well done. Okay, I have learned. Ladies and gentlemen, this business, there's income. There are many businesses you are doing that are, you know, they only do when you're alive. They only do when you do. Your energy is what you get. In this business model, there's leverage. Ladies and gentlemen, only a moron, and I'm, I'm sorry, only a moron will believe the nonsense and the trash they've told them about network marketing and not plugging into it. And what do I mean by moron? It means you are ignorant. It means you don't know sufficiently because what, what is sweet here is that there's leverage. What does leverage mean? Leverage means it's not only your energy that counts. Oh, it means you will work hard in a season. But in another season, you will not work as hard and you will earn hard. And if you have trustworthy people, you have reliable people, you have people with, with values at the core of things. And I'm not, I'm not boasting and I'm not making, you know, I'm not, I'm not blowing any horn. I'm saying it's in my best enlightened interest to want to see others make progress and make progress sustainably because it will pay me as well. And when you have those kind of people who understand that big picture and are willing to drive with that picture, in the organization you are driving, there is no limit. There is no limit. And for those who are on ground, who are on the ground floor of this, who struggle to be one star, struggle to be two star when nobody was one star and two star, you are the ones who have done the heavy lifting. A day is coming when on the mention of the fact that Dr. Fumi I know is Ruby director, people will join without asking questions. That time is coming. But before that time happens, ladies and gentlemen, we need to put in the grind. We need to begin to cooperate ourselves. You know, this, this 2021, this year, as this year ends by God's grace, you will see me in these natives, you see me in these attires, but you begin to see me in Thai as well. Yeah, my suit days are coming back gradually. Why? Because I'm not a local businessman. I'm an international businessman, and I'll be handling conferences for them in the UK, handling conferences for them in Canada, in the US, in different parts of the world, and I will be seen as they want to, be, you know, want to see me. And we know that the value we have is not cheap, ladies and gentlemen. We know it's not cheap. We are giving it as a countercultural arrangement to offer us value for as free as we can offer us value. But we need to reciprocate those values by making sure that we put it to work. It's time to build. So let's ask our questions. Um, you know, I can see I will build with full force. So yes, yes, good. So let's take the questions. I'll take questions quickly. I have a question. The first question I have here is from I mean, Sokwe Esther. She says, can we take advantage of the company's daily presentations instead of representation ourselves? Yes. Yes, you can take advantage of the company's presentations. When you say, when each person has four presentations that must happen per week, it means I need to ensure that even in the company's presentations, I have four people who listen to it four people who listen to it, who plugged into it from me that are guests that week. If I don't have the four there, I can also do my one-on-one -on -one with people. So I have four people that I will pass through those presentations and I will take into CISO. So the presentation has happened when I've passed them through the company's presentations, I do my CISO with my upline. I have four people that I engage in that system on a weekly basis because on a monthly basis, I need to have 16. And my prospect list is growing. Okay, so there's a there's a, a, a three rule process. We say have a prospect list, grow it by by ten percent every month, and then do sixteen presentations per week. So if you follow that formula, you can take them through the performing presentations. But you want to ensure that four people pass through the presentations on your account on a weekly basis, and you track it. You have a book, you have a book where you and your upline can share together where you are tracking what you are doing. We want to be serious about our business. I hope I have answered your question. Pastor John says, sir, I need a powerful presentation that I can bring, I can be using with potential prospects. How do I get them? It's part of my goals. There are presentations available on YouTube. The Green Mondays has a YouTube channel, Pastor John. There's a YouTube channel that has 
over 100 presentations. There are some there that I like, and they are very good for different purposes. There's the one that Dr. Fumi and I did. I like it. You can use it for people who want to hear somebody from that profile who has a medical history. Fantastic. There's one that MI did. There's one that Peace did. There's one that Fumi Ashari. There's one that Dr. Deron did. There's one that I did. They had presentation for different people. Look for the one you like that is appropriate for the audience you want to give it to and pass four people through presentations every week. It's available. Just go to YouTube, try, type Green Mondays. It will show you the Green Monday group. Subscribe there. Look through the videos. Pick the ones that are powerful for you and use them. An anonymous attendee said, what are the top objections in our business and how can we handle them? How do we get more VIP prospects and go beyond brooms? Especially if I don't know a lot of those kind of people. Ladies and gentlemen, the people who will help you drive your business the most in this world are not the people you currently know. They are new people you will meet after you have started this business. The people who will cause your business to grow and explode, you haven't met them yet. How do you ensure you can attract VIP? Be one yourself. It's difficult to ask people to do what you are not doing. So as you come on board, even if you come on board low, the products are selling, the products are useful, the products are valuable, upgrade, keep upgrading. Rather than you do your GMX in a particular month, do upgrade in a month. Next month, instead of doing GMX, do upgrade. It counts like GMX as well. Keep doing your upgrade until you get VIP. Your mouth will be stronger to tell somebody else to do VIP. And ladies and gentlemen, they want to do VIP. VIP is where VIP league you play. VIP is where you really, really want to be. And if that's where you really, really want to be, then, then VIP. You know, drive it with VIP. So it's going to be easier for you. And what are the objections? There are many objections. People will say they, they've made up their mind they want to do it again. Ask them a question. Which one do you want them to write on your grave? Here lies a man who failed once and never tried again, or a man who never gave up and eventually broke through. You know, we'll take a training on, on frequently, you know, use objections and how you handle them. Our weekly grind, I'll tell you about the weekly grind. It's going to be a, a, a five days intensive course, you know, that I'll get people to go through. And I'm thinking about it. Maybe something we need to do. Pastor says, okay, I will look for the one I like for proper follow-up since I have subscribed. Thank you, Pastor John. Uh, there are many trainings there, over a hundred. I love them. They are different colors, different shades, different sizes. You can find the appropriate ones. We also do work as a company of grouping them together. There's one that Mrs. Ogutu she did. It's amazing. I like it. I like the one that Peace did. Peace uh, Ajayi. You know, Peace Abraham Ajayi. Lovely presentation. I like the one that Fumi Asaru did as well. You know, I like some of these ladies when they present. You know, it's, it's, it cuts across a wide variety of audiences. It's amazing. I like the one that Dr. Dr. Fumi did as well. You know, it's very useful for my for the people I want to listen to as well. I like the one Ms. Ogumala did. Some of them are juiced up with some presentations, with some, uh, with some testimonies. I like the one that Fadikemi did. Our energy, our excitement is very, very, you know, very contagious. So all of us have different values um, that you can utilize. And it does, I, don't, I don't have to be the one that made the presentation. I like the Yoruba one. I've, you know, some people I've never shared presentation with, I share the Yoruba one with them because I know they will find that funny and find it exciting. And then the conversation will start from there. So let's leverage on all of these things. Someone is asking, can I make my sign-ups predictable? What must I do? How can I make them predictable? In my team, we are asked not to present one-on-one. -on -one. Why is that? And how do we go about the recommended weekly daily crime? Ooh, it's very, no, who said you should present one-on-one? -on -one? The person who said you should present one-on-one -on -one is basically trying to show you that sizzles sell the stick. So what does that mean? It means I can invite them to a presentation, let them listen, then get my upline involved. It's just helping you with a system that allows you to get more results. How can it be predictable? It can be predictable. If you tell yourself, I'll sign up four people this week, it means I will not stop until I do. If I have no such goals, it means if it doesn't happen, I'm not bothered. So the fact that you have the goal already sets your mind in motion, sets ideas coming at you, sets the universe inclined your direction. Do you understand how goals work? Your RAS, your reticular activating system, doesn't pick what is not in your goal. If I say yellow car, you can't remember when you saw a yellow car last. But the minute I talk about yellow car, yellow car, yellow car, yellow car, here, when you leave this place and you go around, you will notice the yellow cars. What happened? Your eyes were looking, but they were not seeing. Your goals help to 
activate something in your in your in your brain that makes you begin to seek for the thing that you set as a goal so once you set the goal the ideas will come the opportunities will come you know i tell people somebody says prayers answers to prayers are coincidence i've always said when i pray more i realize i have more coincidences why because it means i open my mouth and say god i want this my mind also now opens to begin to look for it that's why the Bible says those who seek God will find him. It means if you are not going out seeking, you will not go out finding. So set the goals. Seek the results. Once you set those things in machinery in place, you will miss it once. You will miss it a while. You will miss it. You set four, you get three. You set ten, you get nine. After a while, you will be exact. Take it from me. Someone is asking. I have many people I personally introduced, but during the time of Matrix alone, they were registered under other people, but I feel responsible for them. And in some cases, the person whom they are under is not necessarily ready to drive the way I want to drive. Can I work with them directly? If yes, I need they are all among those that are ready to do this where I will, more than 20 of them. Meanwhile, my structure is not really well balanced and I seem to need to register new people and place them appropriately to balance my structure. So I have a dilemma. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have a dilemma. The first thing you want to do is you want to look for people in that team and take like two accounts for yourself so that you can have three. Take charge of some of the people that have left you that just take charge, you know, make a request, send a request to me. You can send it to me as well and say, I need to change this username. I need to change this person. I need... You can change them all. The company will help you change them all. If they're not actively involved in the business, don't waste, don't let them waste your space. If you have serious people, they can take three, three of those accounts. Do you understand? You can build upon what you already have. The usernames are editable. The details are editable. If you are sure that they are gone with the wind, then you can restructure them based on them and begin to drive. And if you think they are not structured in a way that will help you get new people. I have, I have a leader who has team members. One team member is on break. And if you need to become your next star, you need to have people in your team who are growing as well. So what do you do? You get a fresh person, support the fresh person to grow. It will take you more time, but guess what? You are expanding your foundations and when your foundations are well established no excuse there's nobody who's going to hold me back nobody i didn't bring you on board so that you can be my excuse i brought you on board so that you can be my reason if you are not ready to play ball like go out and bring someone else on board i bring them up board in a way that they will affect you as well so that one day you can be up motivated and come back to life and realize this guy doesn't need me it is really not about him, it's about me. Because ladies and gentlemen, what I want to achieve, I will achieve with you or without you. If it is with you, then I'm going to support you because your growth is important for my growth. You go halfway, I meet you halfway. But if you're not willing to go, I will put you on the bench. I will play Messi, I will play Ronaldo, I will play a player who wants to play because it's his career, my career as well. So you can edit, you can re-edit, you can just send the request in, your team will be restructured. You can't change up lines, you can't change whatever, but you can change the people to new people. Or you can bring new people that are fresh and grow with them. Holanika is asking, how effective is broadcast? Broadcast is not bad if what you are sharing is basically warming everybody up. You cannot achieve much directly with broadcast, but you can warm up people. So you can send good stuff. You can broadcast a testimony once in a while. You can broadcast something you learned that will be valuable to people once in a while. You can broadcast good news and say there's an opportunity. There's a scholarship. There's a business grant. There's something that the company I'm working with is doing. That, that's why we throw those things as well. Like, you know, national identity number, school franchise, financial inclusion. We're throwing in a few things because we want to be a blessing to people. That's what it's about. It's not about money because in 10 years, it will not be about money. In 10 years, it will be about impact. If we have our growth, so we, we don't want to wait until 10 years before we begin to help people grow and impact their lives. We'll start now. Hey, but if you don't join our business, no problem. Be like God. He sends the rain to rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Okay? Be imitators of God as little children. Imitate him. So you do your broadcast of nice things. You do your narrow cast to people that you want to engage directly. And in your weekly goals, you know what you want to achieve. So you walk towards what you want to achieve. Okay? Olua Kemi Alabi is asking, while I'm upgrading, is my stars also growing? Yes. While you're upgrading, if, if, I am, if I am bronze and I upgrade to VIP, 
in that week that I upgrade, my PV will grow by 920. Did you hear me? My personal PV will go by 920 for upgrade to VIP, and I will earn, I will personally earn about 80,000 Naira for upgrading to VIP. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not upgrading, I don't know what you're doing. Upgrading is sweet. It's sweet to the upgrader, and it's exciting for the upline as well. Okay, I think I've answered a number of questions on the question and answer side. Some people are asking questions here again as well. Team Gold Crushers. Okay, I'm in the spirit. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is time to begin to have your teams and let your teams have a brand. Let them have a name. Yes. This is time when we begin to do t-shirts in the name of your team, in the name of your brand, in the name of your group. Yes. Begin to grow that way. Uh, please brief expression on CISO session. How is it done? Check go you. CISO sessions, I'm sure Yoma has done sessions to explain this. I've seen Dr. Fumi talking about this as well. They are very simple. CISO sessions, you'll find them in Don Filer's book, The 45 Second Presentation. If you don't have a copy, grab one. I think it's chapter nine. And the idea is the CISO sells the stick. It means if you go to a restaurant where they are selling barbecue or they are selling, or you go to a grill, they put the barbecue on the grill. They put the food there. They know that when you begin to sense the aroma, you will want to buy. What sells the stick is the sizzle. The fact that there's fire and they are sparking together. That's what sells the stick. The stick, S-T-A-A-K. Now, what that means is if you are doing a business and you're only one person with a prospect, if this is a wet log and you're a dry log, it won't catch fire. If you add one person to it, maybe your upline, you have two dry logs and a wet log, there will be some fire. If you add one more person to it, a team member who's also hot, and you're like three, there will be more, there will be flame. If you are four and there's one prospect, there will be a real fire. That fire of your energies of sharing, of talking, of conversing with each other will cause this person to want to join you as well. So the idea of CISO is you bring your prospect who has listened to the presentation into a WhatsApp group, invite your upline, invite two of your sidelines, and then together, either on a phone call, best physical meeting, next, or a WhatsApp engagement where you're all present, you engage with this person and help them answer their questions with one purpose. It's not to discuss the history of geography. It's not to present it afresh. The meeting should not last more than 10 minutes. And the goal is, how can I help you start? And the best preparation you can do for that meeting before that meeting happens is edify your upline because people cannot drink water from a source that is lower than them. You know when you want to fill your jerry can, your, you want to fill your car with petrol from your jerry can, you first of all have to place the jerry can above the bonnet, above the boot, so that the petrol can flow to the, to the tank. Why? Because water and liquid only flows when there's elevation. The same way, I cannot add value to your downline if you don't lift me up, okay? Uh, that's why the Bible says when Christ is lifted up, he will draw men to him. What draws attention and what draws value is when a particular person is lifted. So you identify your upline, set up the scenario for them to be seen in the right light, seen as important, seen as not having time. And then when they come in that group and share with your team member, they are quick to want to join because they get the opportunity. They, they, they pay attention. So what you're doing in the vision so that they can pay attention, listen, and join. So the sizzle sells the stick. Get the book if you don't have it. Someone said, is that a question? <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, last question here from Mr. Lanike or Ebola or Shoy. says, if I register someone with my money, but later pay, and he's not working, but discover that there's money there, this is my building the team under him, and she only wants to end where he has not sown, can I remove all? You can remove the member. Just be sure you don't have paid. Be sure you don't have paid for him. Be sure that he will not lead to a case in the future. You can get the person out of the place. Replace them with somebody else. Put your child there. Re, you know, reorganize your account. People do that. So you, you pay for people. And I say, why are you paying for people? Something is missing in your confidence as well. Don't pay for anybody. Yes, you can help people. And say, you know what? I want to support you. That's fine. But this is what I suppose you also knows. Guy, you will build this business. Otherwise, I will take it back from you. These are the timelines. Make it very clear. Okay? Uh, that way, you know, you can do good without feeling bad. Because I know people feel bad. You put somebody there, the person has earned 10,000 naira, is withdrawing it. He's earned 100,000 naira, is drawing. One day, we 10 million. So you better kill it quickly before it gets far. If you're not, you're, you're not going to feel bad, set timelines for when you're going to get them, yank them off, and you know, follow it up. 
don't make promises you don't intend to keep. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it with the question and answer session. Uh, it's been my pleasure sharing with us today. Uh, I hope we have been blessed. If you have been, uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for participating. I hope this adds value to you. The, the, the recording for this will be made available uh, shortly.